Oh, yay! Another win! Yay! Can you tell how happy I am? Woo! 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 So that was another race. <laughs> it was another race! <laughs> there was another race! It's just like, what? It's just like, yep, that happened! It happened! You can't deny the fact that it took place. This is a, um, what's it called? This is a, um, observable fact. I don't know. What I'm trying to say is that it happened. <laughs> oh. That's 18 fucking wins for Truex. I, I didn't ever, I didn't ever say it on Twitter because... Well, I have absolutely no confidence in any of my predictions after last year's prediction video and this year's vi prediction video for that matter. But I thought like back last year when Truex got his fourth win, I think, is that I was looking at the trends and I was like, you know what? Truex is going to hit 20 wins before Logano does. I think it's still going to happen, you know? <laughs> yeah, the fucking what? 14 race head start? Bitch, get the fuck out of here. 50th on the fucking top 50 race hub best drivers video. My fucking ass. I was going to do a video reaction to that. I was going to do live reactions to that, actually. And I didn't. Obviously. But, um... <laughs> I was going to do my own. And then I actually watched it and I was like, No. No, I can't make any jokes. It's a joke in itself. <laughs> I can't make any jokes here. I, my comedy, my comedy part of my brain is just like, you know what? No, I don't even care. Oh my God, that was not good. The first half was so bad, dude. Literally nothing you did mattered. If you didn't pit with three or two to go, I don't know what your crew chief was smoking. And, um, yeah. <laughs> um... I, uh, I was thinking this was just going to be Road America last year. Was what we were going to see. We were going to see Road America last year. But then they did the extra pit stop. And it was like, you know. I didn't expect that. No, I didn't expect that. The extra pit stop. Now that was unexpected. But, yeah. I mean... <laughs> When you can call the finish when there's not a caution. You want to know why I enjoyed the 2016 Mid-Ohio race so much? You want to know why that was my favorite race and probably still is my favorite NASCAR sanctioned event of all time, the 2016 Mid-Ohio Challenge. You want to know why? Because you had no idea what was going to happen until the checkered flag dropped. The race winner went off track and lost like 15 spots at one point in that race. You could not look away from the screen. If I, I, could, I, could, I could actually make an hour-long freaking presentation. I could make a goddamn PowerPoint about how good that fucking race was. And it can all be applied to this one. The only thing that saved this race was the end strategy. My God, if there had been a third fucking stage break, this, this race would have been horrendous. If they had split this race into four stages, oh, this would have been the worst. This would have been the fucking worst because everyone would have done the exact same thing. And it would have ended up the exact same way. Because did you notice how virtually nothing changed between... um? the beginning of the race, and the beginning of stage three. The only differences were, were some of the cars that died over the course of the race, and Larson just not having long run speed at Sonoma. These are the only things that changed about that lineup there. So little actually transpired in the first half of this race, and that's the worst part about it. God almighty stages this. Stage caution suck in general, but who 
thought it was even slightly a good idea to do it at road courses. Can we talk about something that was actually good? No, we cannot. There was nothing really good to talk about this week. IndyCar wins again, and it wasn't even that great of a race. The uh, interval between the leader and second, at least when there weren't pit stops currently taking place, never was over two seconds. Except for during the pit stops. That was the only time that it wasn't over. That was that it wasn't under. I can't fucking talk to save my life today. Yeah. <laughs> and I mean, you know what pisses me off the most is that Wiccans got fucked over at the fucking start and then had no speed for the rest of the race. I don't know if that damaged suspension or some dumb shit like that. But the fact that he was just so piss slow for the rest of the race after making a move for third in the first lap and that impacts your shit for the next 54 it's like oh okay that's wonderful f1 was eh the start was interesting but most f1 starts are interesting that was quite the uh, spectacle it was indeed it was a spectacle carlos signs looking like he's gonna get a fucking podium Oh my god, dude. Did it need more runoff space? Did that track just need a, did it need another um, cubic mile of, of runoff space there? Some more candy cane fucking striped goddamn runoff area? A little more, guys. A little more next year. I dare you to shave off more of those walls, okay? Jesus. Um, I didn't get to watch a second of Arca. Thank you, people who decided to watch fucking Canadian Football League on the goddamn TV. Oh, oh, Canadian fucking football. Whose idea was that? Jesus on a goddamn... I don't know. Jesus, he's not even in the vicinity. That's the God has left us when it comes to Canadian football. Um, And then there was... The truck race. Oh boy, Moffat gonna save his career. Oh no, he gets wrecked by talentless fucking rich kid Rhodes, who's absolutely dog shit and has never deserved a fucking thing in his life. And yet he's gonna be at Chicago Land next week. I guarantee goddamn to you that. Moffat probably won't though, because why would the person third in points be in every race this year? Why would that be the case? I don't fucking know. Um. And then Justin Haley won, because Gregson is even more talentless than Rhodes. Jesus Christ, what the fuck was that second to last restart? What in God's name was that? What was that? How can you be this talentless in a KBM truck? How? It, ha you have to be, it has to be, it has to be effort. You have to, ta it takes effort to suck that fucking man. Um... Was that everything this week? I think we rattled through everything this week. Well, shit. Huh. So Truex wins. Pit Strategy won him the race for once. What is this shit? What is this parallel universe we've entered where Pit Strategy doesn't fuck over the 78, rather it gives him the win? This is an interesting timeline. Can we get some more of this? That'd be nice. That'd be much appreciated, y'all. That would be much appreciated, you know? Much appreciated. Oh, yeah, will be a little bit of appreciation there. Um, you can tell. I'm actually fucking dog-tired because I went to sleep at, like, midnight and woke up at 8 for the F1 race, which is technically 8 hours of sleep, but for some reason, it didn't feel like 8 hours of sleep. Did I actually sleep through the whole night last night? You see, I've been getting this bullshit. Okay, can someone please, for the love of God in the comments, explain this shit? Why is it that every night, without exceptions, except for possibly last night, but every night, I wake the fuck up at the exact same fucking time? 4.20-something in the morning. And don't give me none of that fucking marijuana MJ. MJ, you're missing the T in there. I don't need no MJ. I only need my MTJ, okay? Get this shit out of my face. <laughs> Did you know that marijuana is getting legalized in Canada? I might just become a Canuck. Um, let's go, let's go, Gophers. 
Hockey. A. Someone give me a call tech with Colin Pern so I can figure out how to be a Canadian properly. Anyway, why is it that I wake the fuck up at the exact same fucking time? No exceptions except for last night. It's always 420 something. In the goddamn morning, and it's without fucking exception. I don't even need to piss. You know, you'd think that's like, oh, it's obviously because you need to use the restroom, Kamikaze. You fucking idiot. No, I don't. Only like two out of the two out of the seven nights when it happens in a week is I actually need to use the bathroom. And even then, if I wake up, I'm just like, fuck you, and I go right back to sleep. I, even if I have to piss, I'm back to sleep. That's how fucking. That's how many fucks I give about waking up at four something in the fucking morning every fucking day. And it's without exception except for last night. Every fucking night this happens. Why? And I hate it because whenever it happens, which is all the fucking time, if you wake up like within, like there's that stage of REM sleep that you hit where you're in deep sleep. And it just accelerates time, you know? It really doesn't actually, um... It's basically you being as close to being unconscious mentally as possible. Because, you know, there's this... There's there's something that I, uh, that I also noticed. Is that, um... For some strange reason... I remember this... I remember one instance of it specifically. Is when I was, like, eight... And we were going on like a class trip, but we had to wake up at like five in the morning for the bus. And I remember we had to set the alarm. And I was actually, you know, sleeping and shit like an eight year old. It seemed like, eh, because I was eight. But like, um, I remember being awake for like five seconds. And then the alarm clock go went off. And I was like, oh shit, I'm awake. It was like five seconds. And this happens a lot okay, here. Because right when I um, started my new job. I got called in like twice in the same week and it all came in via text and I was like on the verge of, I was like just sleeping and then I was awake and then suddenly zzzz, my phone's lighting up telling me to go to work and it's like, wait a minute, what is this shit? I'm awake, but I'm not awake. It's, it's, it's not that stage of sleep is where I was trying to go with this. You know what? I should just make a separate video on this topic. The race was boring, but the strategy in the last 50 laps made it watchable. Um, so next week is Chicagoland. You could probably tell by the fact that I've made no obnoxious tweets towards the driver, the driver <laughs> of the, oh, did you see my new shirt? Did you see my new shirt? Look at this. Look at this. Mark Martin, motherfucking. I don't even know if you can see this. As you know, my fucking iPod is turned backwards. So I don't actually know what you're seeing right now, but look at this! Look at this fucking shit! It's good! It's good shit! Back to the point, yes. Um, you can probably tell by the lack of obnoxious tweets sent towards a certain plastic spoon that I'm not going to Chicagoland this year. But you can be Garen goddamn teed, I will fucking be at the debut of the ISM Speedway's new configuration in November. You want to know why I know this shit for a fact? I don't know this shit for a fact, as a matter of fact, but I do know that I will be doing everything in my effort to do this shit because I can't go to Chicagoland next week. But I will be in Phoenix, and if I'm not in Phoenix, God damn it, I don't know. Just fucking, just, 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 just someone, please buy me a fucking plane ticket at least. Just that much. That much would be such a burden off my fucking back. Just a single solitary plane ticket would be a burden off of my back. That's like three days worth of working. Not even just this summer. I'm actually going to have to put in hours during the school year if I'm going to do this. And I want to fucking do this. Am I actually going to have a job during the school year? Stay tuned to find out, y'all. Because I'm going somewhere. I don't know where, though. I can't tell you that much. But I can tell you I will be going somewhere. 
Just, just you can get you can count on that, guys. Really? You can trust me on this. Don't I look like a trustworthy motherfucker? Don't I? Don't I just have the essence? Don't I just glow with the veracity of the goddamn Dalai Lama over here? I mean, who else would you trust? Who else would you trust? Ugh. Iowa left me begging for more racing, and this was just like, can I just not? Can we just not? Oh, and NBC is back next week. Did you know Dale Jr. is going to be in the booth? I bet you did. And if you didn't, what fucking shit have you been watching? Have you found Adblock for TV? I hope you have, because if the eBay fucking fashion commercial with the goddamn guy who's jizzing himself to the fucking moon over some ugly fucking shoes, they are fucking hideous! Like, take a look at these shoes. Like, they're not amazing, but I'd fucking jizz over them more so than those ugly fucking rags. Ugly fucking rags that that guy was fucking pulling out of that box. Hideous! Jesus Christ, they're ugly, but yeah. Fuck that commercial, and fuck everyone watching this video. Thanks for watching! <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, can you tell that I'm just a little bit mentally falling apart due to the um, combination of double dosing allergy pills because Jesus Christ on a candle. I cannot believe how bad the pollen is around here. The past two days, I if I'd counted my sneezes, they would have been in the hundreds. And I'm not even kidding. So yeah, the combination of that plus coffee, plus the likelihood that I may indulge in some alcoholic beverages before the night is over, you know, I might just want to, you might want to keep the EMTs nearby, is what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. God, you know, um, was I going to say something? I guess I was. Never mind. I don't know what I was going to say. Point is, I didn't watch a second of the ARCA race. The truck race was, eh, better than... Yeah, it was still the best race of the week. F1 was fun for the first lap, but that's usually how it goes. IndyCar was the was okay, and this race was terrible for the first half and decent for the second half. But yeah, and even then, it wasn't even that good. It was decent for the second half, and even wasn't that, even then, it wasn't that good. But yeah. Um, I have nothing left to say. <laughs> ah! I wish I could scream, but anyway. Hey, I just did that. Wow. My wish came true. A self-fulfilling prophecy, if you will. So, anyway. God, I just, there's... <laughs> so, but even, even still, I'm not going to uh, Chicagoland, obviously, but I think... I've got this strange sensation in the back of my mind that the next week may be very interesting as far as some things are concerned. So, without further ado, I'm just going to say fuck it and leave. So, should I shill? I've already been here for 20 minutes, may as well shill. So follow me on Twitter. If you don't, I don't think you're a true fan. I consider my Twitter feed more entertaining than the actual channel at this point. Um, if you'd like, I got a Patreon. I finally got monetization back on my videos. Holla at you, boy. But yeah. Um. Yeah, Patreon. Um, I'm thinking of redoing some of the levels. To give people more of an incentive to actually do it. And especially considering I lost all of my fucking videos. I could actually, you know, add people's names to actual videos now. 
because I don't make them 15 years in the past with the intent of uploading them several years in the future, you know? But, yeah. So, what else do I have? That's really it. It's really, it's really the, it's really Twitter. <laughs> That's about it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I think that about does it. So, yeah, it was a boring race. Next week is Chicago, which means it'll be leech-infested races, and they will probably be boring. Yay, that'll be fun. But hey, at least they're not doing the stupid all-star package for the rest of the year. Fucking thankfully. You know what? You know what? This is actually very good, because unlike the bullshit package that they used in 2015... They actually ran more than one fucking race, and it was actually not just an exhibition race that they ran the package in that year that they used in 2016. So that means, by the grace of God, I hope, they're shelving the restrictor plate bullshit so we can never think about it again. I will take a thousand races like today over a goddamn season of restrictor plate bullshit. That is what I fucking say. Oh, and Grand Endfinger got fucked over yesterday as well. Forgot to mention that. Moffat's funeral is this Tuesday. Thanks for watching.